why somebody should join and start a business with you when you're just a little square that they can see on their phone? They don't know you. But what you say on social media, they can get to know you if you can project your voice. And the only way you're going to project your voice is if you project you. You can tell about our products all day long. You can tell how amazing they are. You can give the facts and figures and put up pictures. But at the end of the day, our products will sell with or without them. But you are what is important in the equation. People will buy from you because they like you and because they want to be around you and they want to know more about you, but they can't do that if you're not open on social media. Yeah, and John Maxwell again said this morning that we can make that gap really big between us and other people. And if you've been in fitness for a while and you've had an awesome transformation, it can become very easy to start putting yourself on a pedestal and saying, look at my awesome results, look how great I am in fitness. And you forget where you came from in the beginning. You forget to be vulnerable. And it's, it, you create a gap between you and other people where they look at you and say, it's unattainable for me. It must be nice to be fit. It must be nice to look good. They forget the transformation you went through. So when you're inviting people, you got to make sure to go back and remember how it felt in the beginning. Remember how it felt to feel vulnerable and share it with people because you will lose people if you start getting to this elite fitness status like Miss Danielle here. She has to keep going back and sharing with people where she came from and how she got started in this and how it isn't easy for her either. Because it's easy for people to look at her and say, oh, must be nice. She works very hard and she's got to keep sharing that with people. So here's another example, um, and I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but basically the other thing I want you to get is that a picture truly is worth a thousand words. So anytime you're on social media, the more you can put a picture with it, the better. And while video is great, I know now Instagram does the quick six second videos like mine, um, really most people any nowadays, nowadays just have time for a picture and your words if the picture stop them. Whoa, they're having a party over there. Should we clap louder just to like... invite 
Because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that you meet more people. You meet more people, talk to more people, like more people, be friends with more people, and have genuine, authentic conversations. And then the more people you know, the more people you can invite. And once you have this list of people that you can invite because they're connected to you, that they're engaged in what you're doing, you can use the systems and the tools Beachbody is giving you, like the five-step invitation process. I use it every single day. I have rewritten it so that it is my words, it's my story, I share my vulnerabilities, uh, how I felt as a brand new mom coming into this business and into P90X for the first time, my first experiences with Shakeology. I share those things in my five steps. But you can do the same thing. Just don't use your Facebook list as this is my list. No. Your list of the people that have liked your stuff, sent you a message, commented on something, and you can tell that's a little red flag. They're interested in what you're doing. Those names should go on the list of the people you invite using the five steps or whatever script you want. I know we all kind of have our own system and scripts that work for us. But work with it. And you can tell if it's engaging with people, if they're responding to you or not. One thing I said yesterday, and I want to reiterate it, that if someone is talking to you or you're discussing a, a sale or Shakeology or some type of um, interaction with them, and they stop talking to you or they purchase through eBay or they decide to get it from a friend, something happened in that process and they, you did not connect them with the product, you have to take ownership of that. Something was missing there. Learn from it. Maybe you rushed the sale. Maybe you didn't connect well enough. But if you decide, that's my fault. I did not show that person the value that I have, that I can help them better than eBay can. Don't get mad about it. Don't get mad at that person because they tried to save $10. You didn't show them that you were worth that $10. So you have gotta get better at saying, no, it's worth it to buy it from me because I can help you better. The person that you bought it from on eBay is not going to help you. In fact, they may not even give you all the discs and that book may be written in. So you should probably get it from me because Beachbody's gonna replace your disc when you lose it, scratch it, or can't find it in a move. Beachbody will help you with that. We have awesome customer service. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna put you in a group. I'm gonna actually connect you to this product and get you results. If you don't show people that in your invitation process and you lose them, that's on you and you've gotta show them why they need to get it from you. Yeah, so basically, you just need to be you all the time, right? Which is not a hard thing to do. You need to be open to making new friendships. Is that hard? No. Not really, right? And then maybe, and this is a social business, so you have to be more social. And that may be uncomfortable for you, but that's okay. With social media, you don't have to be face to face if you don't want to. You can kind of hide behind, you know, the computer and talk through your words and be a little more confident. So there's tons of ways to do that, um, and they each kind of have their own magic. And so what I would suggest to you is one or two that you're comfortable with. You don't have to be on all those, I'm not on all those. Just pick one or two that you're really comfortable with and focus on those. You know, it's like anytime a new social media comes out, you'll see all these people, oh, I'm on Vine, or oh, I'm on KIK, or Kick, or whatever that is, or oh, I'm on this, or hey, find me on that. Why? Just because everyone else is doing it doesn't mean you have to. Just pick one or two that are, you're, like my two are Facebook and Instagram. That's what I like. You know, and some people like Twitter, I hate Twitter. Though I have found some really good people from Twitter where she goes to. But you, you funnel people towards the ones you like. So even though you will have a name on Twitter, I do, I'm on Pinterest, never use it. I do use YouTube, but every place you find my name, you're gonna see my fake follow me on Facebook because I wanna funnel everyone towards where I make connections. I can't really connect with people on Instagram that well because I can't say that much to them in, on a photo. But I can say, find me on Facebook now that we've connected and I know we can talk there. I can check out the profile, I can see the pictures, I can see what we have in common, I can see what